Hey y'all, what's going on? How you doing today? <clears throat> today, I'm about to do some stewed chicken. Stewed chicken. And let me get you. Oh my goodness, my sink been dripping. <sighs> Anyhow, gotta do some stew chicken. And um so when I do the stew chicken, I'm gonna make enough to to count all out. I need a Need to thaw it out some, just a little bit more. It's thawed out, but I think I'm gonna do. Let me get this in some water real quick while I talk to y'all. That way, kill them two birds with one stone. But um, I'm gonna make extra to be able to 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 freeze, and <clears throat> I'm trying to think. process of me doing this food chicken I'm gonna do some curry chicken too to put in the freezer so I know I'm gonna cook dinner but we're gonna cook dinner and and I guess uh I guess food prep at the same time. That's what I'm thinking to do. I think I'm able to put this in the sink. Sink the sink. Fill it in the bowl, put the thaw out there. Because it's pretty much thawed out. I took the stuff out. <clears throat> I need some tomato paste. That way my food chicken can be rich like I want it. Let me tell my husband to stop getting some tomato paste. So anyhow. So, like I said, I think I'm going to do the curry chicken. I'm going to put those in freezer bags, freeze it. We're going to do the stew chicken. And, um... And uh, I'm trying to think if I want to do a barbecue chicken. So I'm about to <clears throat> clean this chicken. I'm trying to think if I want to do the barbecue chicken or not. But I have wanted me. I wanted. I have wanted to do some chicken with some. I may do a chicken and rice. I might do a chicken and rice. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I just got chicken out, child, and I'm just trying to decide what kind of meals I want to do. And while I'm cooking, I'm trying to do more than one at a time. And Yeah, 
I don't know what I want to do yet. Trying to decide. I, I think I done got on my curly chicken kick though, y'all. I think I have, because I've been wanting curry chicken, curry chicken, curry chicken, curry chicken. Curry, 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 curry. I don't have it all the time, so when I do it, just be good. cook every day which I don't and I said I was gonna food prep which I am but at the same time it's like I really don't want to like food prep it all at one time and oh um, I don't know because I don't really know what I got to taste the fuck to eat I don't know how I got taste from, but I got I I want so I want to eat, but I don't want to cook every day. But at the same time, I feel like at the same time I do feel like I want to cook. I don't try. I don't know what I want to do. I think I just don't know what I want to do. But at the same time, ain't no one with me getting this stuff together for when I don't want to cook. So. Just add chicken, sausage, for this one. For this one. Oh, okay, that's the one. I forgot about the combo. I was thinking about the gym life. So, yeah, I, I think I just don't know what I want to do, honestly. I don't know. So, I'm just winging it. I'm just going along. <sighs> going along with how I feel, but, yeah, so. Um... I want to do the stewed chicken. Only thing I have in here, I got some black beans. I got some kidney beans. I have some, that's the, okay, I got a can of tomatoes. Um, I got corn and green beans, cream of chicken. I don't really have too much of a variety. So, if I do the stewed chicken, I need the tomato paste because I only have some diced tomatoes here. Um, so, I guess I do the chicken, the stewed chicken over the rice, over some rice. Um... I was thinking I wanted some cabbage, but <clears throat> at the same time, I don't really want to do all that. I don't know, y'all. Do y'all get like this sometimes? I know it ain't just me. It ain't. It, it can't be just me. Do y'all get like this sometimes, too? Will y'all just be confused? Don't know what you want to do. You want to eat, but, honey, you don't want to do all that cooking. You just don't want to do all that cooking, but you want to eat. I think if I had somebody to bring it to me, I'd be good. <laughs> Somebody to cook it for me, I'll be good. I know all kind of things I want to eat then. So I'm just going to clean up this chicken and we'll move on to what I'm going to do once I decide. Oh, yeah, let me see what kind of seasonings I got. Let me see. Marjoram. We got. Oh, seasoning salt, oregano, coriander. Basil, 
to the result. And baby, it's gonna see just okay. <laughs> Bless me, Jesus. I'll be back, y'all. Alright y'all, so in this pan over here, I'm gonna be, I cleaned my chicken, I pulled the skin off of them, cleaned them out, chicken thighs. So I'm gonna be laying the chicken uh, over here. That's gonna be for the curry chicken that I'm put in the oven for later on. And so I'm gonna do, okay, so that's four. eight um curry chicken so i only need what like maybe like four for each meal how many i got in here one two two three four five i'm gonna put a like two more in here put ten make ten pieces of curry chicken And then that'll be for, I'm going to put this one over here. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So that'll be for at least two meals of curry chicken. <clears throat> so now I'm going to just Cut up some bell peppers and onions. I'm gonna cut a little bit of bell peppers and onion. I started the onion, so we're gonna slice this here up. So now, I'm going to get this here chicken seasoned up. Alright, so I got my seasonings out. So, 
You're gonna put some garlic powder. And no, this is not real authentic curry chicken, but it tastes close enough to it and it'd be good. This is salt that I put in here. I'm gonna sprinkle that with a little salt. Onion powder. Chicken bouillon seasoning. My oven to 375. And that's what we're going to be cooking it on. There's some black pepper. Some thyme. Go a little seasoning salt on here. Curry powder. Some jerk seasoning. Garlic. Got some mixed garlic here. Mix this up. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want no mess and I don't want to tear my paper. So I'm going to cook this meat side down.
purple. Then I'm going to just cover this with foil and let it cook till it's done. So this will be cooking while I'm cooking my dinner. So this meal here is going to be for freezer meal prep. on top like that. in the oven on 375 and let it cook all right so now we're about to work on the stewed chicken so here i got my chicken we're gonna season it up real good i got me some let me adjust y'all a little bit got me some seasoning salt onion powder <clears throat> chicken bouillon seasoning <coughs> black pepper Okay, so I added chicken bouillon seasoning. And I'm going to add some saison. Saison, saison. And I'm going to add the rest of them other two bags of chicken to this that I said I wasn't going to add. I'm going to add that. Some garlic. And some bell pepper and onion. <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> i have cleaned and washed my other chicken so we're gonna get this in here so this is gonna be for dinner tonight and two freezer meals okay so 
So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of those seasonings on them. Get some more sazon. A little bit more seasoning salt. Onion powder. Black pepper. And I may have enough chicken bouillon, so I'm not going to put no more of that. <clears throat> Alright, so then I'm going to add this marjoram seasoning. It smells good. It seems like it'll go good with it, so I'm going to add some of that. And... I'm going to add some bay leaves. Add some of that to it. Make it more flavorful. I want a nice flavorful stewed chicken. I'm going to add some garlic. I think I added some. I'm going to add a little bit more. <clears throat> so now, I'm just going to mix this here around. Add a little bit more saison, 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 poppy set. Add a little bit more of that. Just a sprinkle. Smells seasoned real good. But I'm going to add a sprinkle of salt just in case I needed it. So it'll help enhance all the flavors. I'm gonna add a little time to this too. Can't go wrong with a little time. Time leaves. Let's get started cooking. So this right here, we're gonna sit. Be nice if I could have let it sit like 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to let it sit for like 30 minutes. The marinade. I think I wanna add some chili powder. See what that do to the flavor. I'm 
you can't go wrong with the chili powder, especially in stew. So it's only gonna really enhance the flavor, I feel. So that's what we got. Looks good and seasoned, don't it? I think that's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna add some poultry seasoning. It can only enhance the flavor more and more and more and more. Y'all probably said I'm still no she experiment. I am. I'm trying to come up with some different tasting food because I get tired of the same taste all the time. So I'm trying to create me some stuff. And it can only go one way or the other, good or bad. So why not? That's how you create stuff. So I think that's the last thing I'm going to add. Alright, so back here I'm going to make me some rice. So to this water, I'm going to add me some chicken bouillon seasoning. Onion powder. I'm going to add some some tropical saison Just a touch of salt. I'm gonna add some butter. Okay, so then I'm going to add some onion. And <clears throat> I'm gonna wash my rice and I'm gonna get it in. No. Yeah, I'm gonna wash my rice. Alright, so now I'm gonna get my washed rice. Put it in the pot.
put on my ass. Some peas. drain these. Use my other pot. Hold on. All right. So now I'm gonna just put this over here. Let it come up to a board and turn it down on low. Put me a lid on. To this pan, I'm gonna add some oil. Any kind of oil you want to add? Up oh, to you. to this pan and we're gonna brown the sugar that sugar gonna be good for this tomato paste that we're gonna be using later on but also it's gonna be for the color Cook it till it's Golden, but a little dark. This sugar bag is leaking. Okay. I need to 
poems. Notice I got my pen up on high. Oh, I'm going to turn this up on a medium now. My rice oil. Okay, so brown that sugar. See how it's turning colors? Just let it get dark. chicken, get it in this pan, and start browning it. That brown on each side, then I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna flip it off and let it, you know, we're gonna do that until we get all that brown. So I kept my eye up on high so that it could do what it needs to do. Don't put no lid on now. Don't start messing with it, give it time to start browning. And so now we got to flip this here over. See how I got that browning on now? That's what you want. So bowl out because you want to use all the seasoning from that bowl. Batch of chicken in, but all these seasonings in the bowl, you're gonna keep them. Don't throw them away. All right, so now I got the chicken all nice and brown, like so. I'm gonna go ahead on and add those peppers to that. Some 
against the bowl, huh? Get those seasons. Don't have a little water. So there. tomato to this. This tomato paste I had y'all but this tomato sauce we just gonna go ahead on and use it. It'll be all right. Let this hill cook down. Put the lid on here and let it do its thing. Alrighty y'all, I just took the um, curry chicken out the oven. So we got the chicken and see what it's looking like. Up in here, up in here. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's tender. Look at that. Ooh, that's good and tender. Oh yeah, look at that chicken. Mm-hmm. Taste some of the pizza out there. Nice and flavorful. That's good. So we're gonna let that cool down. And then I'm gonna put that in some individual Ziploc bags. Freezer bags by meals. And we got now we got us some freezer um curry chicken. Tastes good. Let's check this stew chicken. Oh, 
That's looking lovely. Looking real lovely. Oh yeah, that's done. That's done too, y'all. Look at that. You gotta get that, that a little taste. A little taste of that taste. I feel good. Cook some meals, got some freezer prep meals. Turn this around, see what it's tasting like. Season perfect. Oh yeah. That's on point though, y'all. I did that. I did that. That's good. Yep. That tastes really good. So we're gonna turn that off. Cause that's done too. I made some green beans to go with it. Here's the rice. Baked up, peas and rice, and the chicken. So we're gonna have us some chicken for dinner and some for freezer meals. And that's it, y'all. That is it. So I'll come back and let y'all know what it tastes like. Um, all plated up together. All right. All right, y'all. So for the curvy chicken, I got me some Ziploc bags labeled. And I just put the date, what it is, and just put thaw and heat on there. And so, we're just going to put them in these bags here. And I want some juice and everything to go in it. So, I'm just going to take this chicken. And get it over in these bags. And get the same thing. So this makes two dinners. Some of this juice here. I'm gonna put it in the bags too.
So when you do this part, you want to let it cool down. And just fold up the foil, toss it. And get these here. And I'm gonna fold them up. Get the air out of them. flat because that's going to make this a stackable when I put it in my freezer. And when I freeze it, I'm going to freeze it just like this flat. And it makes it where it thaws out faster. So, so far, we got two freezer meals. Ready to go gonna be four once I get my stewed chicken over here but that's still hot. I kind of like doing it this way as I cook a meal just quick enough for extra. Where did that? So I'm gonna let that finish cooling all the way down. Then I'm gonna put that in the freezer. So, um, freeze. So there we go. All right, y'all. So here go the stew chicken. Still sort of hot, but I may be able to get some in this bag. Make sure I get some of the sauce in there too. So I got six pieces. Get some sauce in the bags.
Mm-mm-mm. That's so good, y'all. So now, I'm going to get these two and do the same thing. Close them up. Yeah, they're just warm. They ain't too, too hot. But they still need to sit out to cool all the way down before I freeze it. I'm gonna lay this up flat too. Alrighty, so there we go for freezer meals already. Curry chicken and stewed chicken. And I think I'm going to do the rice, too. I ain't going to do the rice. I'm going to save the rice for a meal that I make <clears throat> tomorrow. So, I got some uh, I got some um, pork in the refrigerator. And I have whole chicken in the refrigerator. And I have the ground chicken and ground beef so i don't know if i'm gonna do the chili or what tomorrow but we'll put the beans the rice in the refrigerator then if i don't use them then i'll freeze those as well as a side dish finish results of the stew chicken so we got a good review today y'all bake Go on, tell them what you say again, baby. I rub pretty good. I don't eat tomatoes, though, but I rub pretty good. And you said what else? I ain't gonna lie. No, they said it was pretty good. <clears throat> you said I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that was good. Yeah, I saw that now. Mm, that what saying. you said, though. I know what I told you. Look at that plate. <laughs> they say I ain't gonna lie. That was good. Thank pretty you, baby. Good. Thank you, baby. No, thank you.